The E in prep stands for edit. When we edit, we spare our listener excessive and unnecessary talk. Be succinct with your breaks. Less is more. Quality over quantity. Be short, sweet, and to the point. Focus on real substance in brief, compelling, and memorable doses. For example, on a dinner plate, you don't want to put the whole cow. You serve the filet mignon or the ribeye, right? If you are working in a music format and your breaks are longer than 30 seconds, they are probably too long. Listeners have a short attention span. You need to pique their interest from the beginning. Most of them will lose interest after about 30 seconds. If you feel you are rushing, go back and edit the copy. If you're too slow, pick up the pace and add an extra pause or two. Although it can be considered a bit sexist in today's world, a funny quote from Winston Churchill said, a good speech, or in our case, a good break, should be like a woman's skirt, long enough to cover the subject and short enough to create interest. Mr. Churchill also had rules for writing a great speech, which applies to great radio as well. Start big, meaning dramatically to grab your audience from the opening. Stick with one theme. Think of a symphony. It can have three movements, but one dominant melody. Speak in short, simple sentences and use visual language to leave a picture in the listener's mind. Skip giving an easily forgettable address, phone number, or email address and give an easy to remember website instead, or use local landmarks and major intersections when an address is needed. And finally, end big with emotion and sincerity. Using these tips, your break will most likely be a good one. After you've developed a comfortable and effective on-air speaking style, remember that what you say matters more than how you sound.